traders, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you step by step everything you need to get your Thinkorswim started. From actually some settings within Thinkorswim that'll speed up your platform, as well as every indicator you need on your intraday chart, on your daily chart, all of it. We're going to get into it, so stay tuned. Let's dive in. The first thing you're going to want to do is click on the application. Before you log in, though, it's very important that you click on this settings wheel. It should be the bottom left corner. Click on that. This is where you can adjust the language, the color scheme, but most importantly, the memory usage. By default, the memory usage is actually set to a very low setting, and you may have noticed your platform being a little slow. I know I did back in the day. And I was wondering what in the world is going on. Well, if you just up your memory usage, that should speed up your platform for you. Now, let's go ahead and log in. This is your first time using Thinkorswim. You're going to be confused by this, and that's okay. It's going to take a little bit of time. I'm going to keep this very simple. K-I-S-S, keep it simple, stupid. I used to have a lot of things going on with my chart but now I just stick to the fundamentals what is really gonna benefit you as a trader what indicators what settings that's what I stick to the first thing you're gonna want to do is kind of link everything if you notice next to the ticker symbol here there's a red one there's a red one right here as well on my watch list just click on that that's linking those together what I like to do, what a lot of traders like to do, is detach many different charts or level twos, times of sales. And you can do that, follow my cursor. Over here, you can detach a chart. And then throw this on another monitor, and you can link that as well. Uh, you want to link your news too, so all that populates when you type in a ticker. So if I clicked on a ticker in my watch list, it's all going to populate to the news, to the level two, everything that is linked. Now, let's go over a few key indicators that I like to use on my chart. You notice that I have this purple line here. That's the VWAP. You can see up here too, VWAP. That's the volume weighted average price. There's another line. This is just my intraday chart. Keep that in mind. There's a yellow line down here. That's the previous close line. The previous close line is a detailed level of resistance or support. And you can actually see here with NVDA how well respected this line is. Not only in after hours pre-market, but intraday we see a lower shadow down here to it and it being bought right back up. The previous day's close is always a, a level we want to watch, a support and resistance. And if it's just visually right there for you on your chart, you don't really have to think about it. So that's very important for me on my intraday charting. Well, let's go up to studies. And this is where I have the VWAP and previous clotheslines on here. Now, for the VWAP, that's very simple. Just go to studies, type in VWAP, uh, double click that, and then you can adjust everything color, the line, the width, uh, all that you can adjust. That's simple. The previous close is a little more complicated because they don't have this script template in their studies. So I'm going to have to put this in the description below. So you can actually copy and paste that and create your own script. And what you do is you just click create. You'll copy and paste all that, name it what you want to, the previous close. I, I do PCL for previous close and click apply and OK. Uh, again, I'll put this in the description below for you. Another indicator I have on all my charts uh, involves volume. Volume is huge. Everything bounces off of volume. Price action is dependent on volume. Uh, level two is the time of sales. It's all just a byproduct of, of the volume. So I like to know the volume. If you follow my cursor, we have the volume intraday uh, relative to the 30 day average, relative to the 90 day average. Now that's an indicator I found off of tosindicators.com. It's average volume stats. I'll link this as well and you can download that indicator. And that way, you know, again, it's visual. You can see it. How much volume do we have today? What's the 30 day average? What's the 90 day average? So you know how much trader analysis there there is on this stock and how maybe overcrowded that name is. Let's move from there to a daily chart. Um, I'm going to bring over a daily chart I use and the indicators I have here you notice are there's a blue and red line. The blue is my 50 day moving average. The red is my 200 day moving average. Uh, and then I have the RSI relative strength index and a relative volume standard deviation uh, down here as well. I love that indicator. Thankfully, all these are in thinkorswim studies. And so let's just go up to studies, edit study. And what you want to do is just type in simple and 
simple moving average will pop up here. You can click on it. By default, simple moving average close nine is going to pop up, but you can adjust that. So you, what you wanna do is adjust the length to 50 and keep it at the close. There's question marks next to everything that'll give you a detailed description of what they mean. Then you can change the color and you can adjust the painting strategy, is what they call it. Uh, so for the moving averages, I just made them a, a dotted line, just so I know when I see them, okay, that's a, that's a 50 or 200 day moving average. Uh, then you'll click OK and apply. I'm gonna get rid of it, because I already have it. And then they'll populate to your chart. So you have the 50 day, the 200 day moving average, and most traders do utilize the 50 and 200 day moving average, and that's why they're important. Uh, it's all about psychology. I wanna use what other traders are using, because if it's important to them, then it should be important to me, because they're using those as maybe buy or sell targets. This average volume stat is the one I already showed you. I have it on my daily as well. Relative strength index, if you don't know what that is, it's uh, type in RSI. And the relative strength index is an oscillator that rates the strength of a security on a scale from zero to 100. Essentially what it's doing is letting you know if a stock is overbought or oversold. If the stock is approaching a 70 on the RSI, that means it's overbought. So let's take a look at the RSI down here. You see with NBDA, when it came up to a 70 and tapped it, it actually did pull back a little bit and 70 there as well start pulling back and then when the stock is oversold it's coming down here towards the 30 that's an indicator up oh, maybe that's a good time to buy it and look every time this thing did come down to about the 30 yeah, we started to see it bounce so the RSI I do like a lot it's a great indicator uh, the last one I do want to show you guys is the relative volume standard deviation all you do down here is type that in, relative volume, standard deviation. And that is a support resistance technical indicator. Uh, unlike many conventional indicators, that one takes into account price volume behavior in order to detect the supply and demand pools. Now, what I love about this indicator is it, it has this dashed line that kind of shows you pretty much what the average volume is. So here it would be roughly around 2 million. And then again, separate from this other volume indicator that will tell you the numbers, this one is just a graph and it shows you in relation to its relative volume, kind of where it's at on today. Is it way under or is it way over? And I personally love that indicator because it, it allows you to see into, into the past, look left of the chart so that you can get an idea of the personality of that ticker when it has above average volume. Uh, what does it normally like to do? Does it pop up and sell off? or does it hold its gains? Uh, just any of it, you can get an idea looking into the past. But you can even see here on POL, uh, the example of a stock that's under this 50 day moving average for so long, finally gets above it and has massive volume, looking at the relative volume standard deviation in the chart. And then you see how the 200 is respected as well with this day in, in January, we, where we saw a pop all the way up to nearly the 200 day and that's where it started to see resistance and selling pressure. So traders, that's gonna do it with my indicators and my settings. Uh, I keep it simple. Again, I used to have things all over the place on my chart, but uh, ultimately when you progress through your trading journey, you're gonna do the same thing. You wanna reduce as much noise as possible on your chart. It allows you to you just trade with more clarity. If you have any questions or wanna tell us a little bit about the indicators you use, throw that down in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button, guys. Thank you for tuning in. We will see you all next time.